Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee. So we had it made in the wilderness. We had manna. We had all manna. We had everything we wanted. Our, our shoes never wore on our feet. Our clothes never wore. We had everything we wanted, but we didn't serve the Lord God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We forsook him. Right. We broke his commandments. And yeah. what happened when he broke his commandments? He gave us up to the enemy. Right. It didn't say the enemies were stronger than us that came and got us. It said he gave us up to the enemies. That's right. He gave us to these national people. This is how we know who we are today, Reed. In hunger, in and thirst, in and nakedness, in and want of all things. So the basic necessities of life, the things that we need to survive in this lifetime, we have to go to another nation of people to get these things. That's not saying that our, our people don't own stores, or own clothing stores, or own food stores. The majority of... Put it in West. Say it again. Put it in West. Call the creator. So the, we have to go to our nation, the other nations to get everything we want for life. If you want a birth certificate, if you want a license, you know what I'm saying? If you want an education, right. if you want be, if you want to be taught how to understand the Bible, right. you gotta go to they you gotta go to their churches to get these things. Right. Because they're not teach, they're not teaching the, who the real Israelites are in the churches. That's right. They're not teaching who we are in the churches. They're not teaching what you have to do to get salvation in the churches. Right. You know what they teach? Grace, mercy, oh, love. Right. Love of all people, but that's not what the Bible says. Bring it up. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. So the same nation of people that we got to serve for everything today was the same nation of people that put yokes of iron upon our neck. Who put yokes of iron upon our neck in slavery? Hold on. Can you slow down and repeat that? Who put yokes of iron upon our neck in slavery? Who did this to us in slavery? Who had bird cages on us? Who was putting us on auction blocks and selling us? Who had us in the cotton field picking cotton? Oh, Who were beating us with whips? Look at this. They put us on a cross and they burnt us. Who did that to us? That gives me nightmares. What nation of the people did that to us? They give us nightmares too, bro. And that's another curse. The Bible said we would have sorrow of heart. What? We would be oppressed in this land. We would be stretched out in this land. Bring day by day, we stretched out, bro. The same thing you going through, the same thing we going through. That's right. But you know what did for me and you? We, we know who we are and we know the solution to our problem. Bring it up. So what you got to do now, you got to start applying, bro. Because we all sick. We all got problems. Bring it up. But what's going to change your problem? The word of God is what is what going to heal you, bro. Yeah, right, but you got to learn to take heed to that thing. You got to come out your own mind. You got to be. You got to become as a child again. And that's why I need you to do right here you stand on me today. I need you to pay attention to me. I need you to listen to me. Listen to God. Listen to what God wants you to do. What you got? Read that. Psalm chapter 107 and verse 20. Bring it up. He sent his word and healed them. He said he, said he sent his word and healed them. So is the word going to come to you through the wind and you're going to hear it? No, it's going to be brothers on the street corner teaching the word of God, the true word of God. So right now he's sending his word to you, bro. And it, it, it can heal you if you humble down to it, if you listen and learn to apply. Because we all sick, bro. We all got problems. The men that you see over here today, we were once drug dealers. We was gang bangers. We was fornicators. We was bugged out. Bring it up. We was, we was doing all manner of drug, all manner of wickedness. We was in them same churches. But we came out of that by the word of God. Right, the right. word of God will sit to us and then heal us. Right. The, the, the man that you see here today, this could be you. But you got to be willing to come and hum You got to change, bro. Right. You got to humble down and you got to be, you got to accept it. You have to be willing. What you got? Three. Titus chapter three and verse three. Bring it up. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts. So the man that you see up here today, every man that you see out here purple today, we were sometimes foolish. We were just like you on the other side, bro. We ain't know, we ain't know how, how the day was going to go for us. We ain't know where our next meal came from. Hey, bro, come up. Let me ask you a question. Come up. Purple is cold. Loyalty. So the brother that you see on this side, I'm going to read another, I'm gonna read the scripture again for you. Read. Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it up. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, right. disobedient, right. deceived, mm -hmm. serving diverse lusts mm -hmm. and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. So we talk about foolishness, uh, serving diverse lusts, malice, hating one another. What, when you hear those things, what people can you correlate that to? Uh, 
What makes you know, when you hear malice and hatred and serving diverse loves, fornicators, what people can you um, correlate that with? What are those things happening? Malice, hatred. This in our ghettos, bro. That's right. In our ghetto, in the, in the ghettos, which in the, in, the, in the Bible, in the dictionary, it said ghetto was a place that the Jews resort. That's right. right. Where the Jews resort. T. It was going to be a place where nobody else wanted to dwell. That's right. So when you look at a place where the Jews resort, are the, the so-called Jewish people that's in Israel today, are they in very low, are they in the very low estate? Right on. Are they want anything? They not want for nothing, but they provide everything that we need. We got to go to them to get it. The music that our brothers listen to, who putting that out in the street? Bring it up. The Jewish people doing that. So they, they don't need nothing. They live in lavish right now. So if a ghetto was going to be the place where the Jews resort, where the black people at today? Bring it up. They in the hoods, bro. Right. They in the ghettos. Right. They serving diverse lust. Right. They hating each other. Right. They killing each other. Right. They sleeping with multiple women, having kids, and not taking care That's of them. Right. That's, That's right. happening in all communities, bro. Right. So what's going to change that? How do we change from that? What's going to change the minds of the black people in our community? Bring it up. How do we do that? I need answers. Because as black men, as an older black man, we, we need leaders in our community. Right. So when the young people walk by, you know what I'm saying, they had to ask you a question like, like, dog, bro, you know what I'm saying? My homie just got killed the other day, bro. Why we keep getting shot in these streets? If somebody was to come to you and ask you that, what, what, what would you tell them? I wouldn't even be in that type of predicament. I wouldn't even put myself in that position. To what? To kind of... The, the, to, to, to have a friend that'll get, that'll get murdered or be in that... Be in the no, I'm friend. asking you, as a young man to an older man, uh -huh. I see brothers get shot down every day. You know what I'm saying? I see brothers sleeping with much women every day. You know what I'm saying? I see brothers hating one another every day. So as a young man to an old man, how... Why, why does this happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the solution? How can we change that? Parenthood. Parenthood. So explain to me what you mean by parenthood. Um, basically, how you being taught in the house. To, to, to form into being a brother or being somebody that want to prosper. So, in other words, we have to teach our kids, right? Right. So, what should we be teaching our kids? Because we send them to school every day. They get educated every day. For eight hours out of the day. They on the fourth. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hold up. 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 We're going to deal with that, too. But we sending our kids to school every day for eight hours. That's they right. working a full-time job getting educated by the white man. Bring it up! So, what should we be teaching our kids at home? What should we be teaching? Because well, how I grew up, it was all about video games, Bring it up. women, how many women you can get, right. sports. These were the things that I was being taught when I was coming up. Bring it up. But now that we're repenting, now that we're changing our minds, what are some things that we should be teaching our children? How to, how to, you know, conduct yourself in a, in a, in 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 a, in a respectable way, carry yourself in a, in a way like a normal human being without the environment. The environment, like you said, with the Jews and like they got everything. We 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 fighting to get get what we trying to right, right. trying to get. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna show you what we should be teaching our kids. What you got? Psalms seventy eight. Read that. Psalms chapter seventy eight and verse five. Read For he established a testimony in Jacob. So if you know anything about Jacob, if you look on this sign right here, these are the twelve tribes of Israel. This this is who we come from. This is our true nationality according to the Bible. That's right. On the right hand side, you are gonna see this. Is, the names on this side you can find in the Bible. Judah, Pizzam, and Levi, Ephraim, you know. so forth and so on. These are our biblical identities. Right. But the name on this side, these are the names that we got in America. These are the names that we got in slavery. Bring it up. Because if, when, you take a, when you take a nation of people, in order to divide a nation of people, you got to do certain things to them. Bring it up. You got to take them and you got to divide them up. How you divide us up, you give us different names. Teach. Bring it up. The names that the, the, the people that came from the tribe of Judah got, in America, they call them American blacks. Bring it up. Negroes. Colors, niggas, slaves. Those were our nationalities over the period of time. Right? Right up. You look at the Benjamin, the West End, the Jamaicans. They gave them the name Jamaica, but according to the Bible, their biblical identity is Benjamin. Jeez. So it said he, he established a testimony in Jacob. Who is Jacob? Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's, right. that's like Judah. That's like Judah, bro. That's the same tribe you come from. That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. But look what I want you to do. I want you to hold it down. I want you to listen. Don't go nowhere, bro, because I ain't finished. We still dealing with what we got to tell kids. Can you got kids? Yeah, I remember. You got a little girl? Church. I'm finna, I'm a, before you go, these are the things you have to teach them. This, first, you got to change your mind. And then you have to start teaching your kids. Right. right. Read that. What about Psalms, chapter 78 and verse 5. Bring it up. For he 
establish a testimony in Jacob All right. and appointed a law in Israel. So that's the Bible. He gave the Bible to us. He gave the Bible to the 12 tribes of Israel. Right, Not everybody. Right. Read. It out. Which he commanded our fathers that we should make them known to their children. So these are the things that we got to make known to our children. And for granted, the Bible was never read properly in the churches. Because when I went to church, what did they do? They read one or two scriptures, and they carried on for about an hour about nothing. Jeez, I learned nothing when I went from church. I That's was the right. same wicked man when I went in and when I came out. Bring it out. But what I learned now is the Bible. This is our book, bro. Right. This book got everything we need to survive in it. That's right. But we got to learn how to read it. So before, we're going to find out how to read the Bible. Because if you go to church, I don't know if you go to church. But if you go to church, Understanding of you to get the understanding of the Bible, you have to read it a certain way. It can't be read like a, it can be read like a novel to get full understanding. But in order to understand it, we have to, the Bible has to be read a certain way. And we're gonna teach you today how to read the Bible, how to understand the Bible. Bring it out. Bring it out. Isaiah chapter twenty-eight and verse ten. Bring it out. For precept must be upon precept. So it said precept must be upon precept, law upon law. You know what I'm saying? Read. Precept upon precept, right. line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little. So that's how you got to read the Bible, Bible like a puzzle. You ever put a puzzle together? You got some words over here, some words over there. Bring it you up! Say, you got to read the Bible like that, bro. You got to read here a little, and there a little. Jeez. Precept upon precept. Because the, the New Testament is an extension of the Old Testament. The up. Bible goes hand in hand together. You can't read the Old Testament and not read the New Testament. You can't read the New Testament and expect to understand it without reading the Old Testament. Right. Because everything that was did in the Old Testament was referred to on the laws in the Old Testament. Bro. Right. The Bible goes hand in hand together. So it said precept must be upon precept. Read verse 9 for me. Verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Right. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawing from the breast. So if you want to understand the Bible, you got to First, you gotta you gotta humble down. You gotta become as a child again. Right, right. Because when you're dealing with children, right? How do they grow? You know what I'm saying? You, you have a newborn baby. What does the mother do? She put them on that breast. That baby gotta have that breast all the time. Two every two three hours, that baby's eating and he sleep. That's how we grow. He getting the milk. So what's the milk that we need as human? Because we can't literally go back and drink breast milk again. So what's the milk that we need to survive? Bring it out. Because it's the Bible. We're gonna find out certain it's certain things in the Bible that we need to survive. Certain things we gotta we gotta accomplish first. Give me that. First Peter chapter two and verse two. Bring it up. As newborn babes desire the sister milk of the word. So this is your first time hearing the Bible in this the Bible how it's supposed to be read. Bring so we said as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. What's the sincere milk? Read. That ye may grow thereby. All right. If so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. Right Wherefore, lay aside all malice. So we got to learn to lay aside that malice and hatred that we have for one another. We have to learn how to do that because it was taught to us through slavery. Right. It's how we learn malice. It's how we learn hatred for one another. You put a group of people in a, you, you put a, group of people in a box. And you give them food there now and then. You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen to that people? They going to, eventually that food ain't going to become enough for them people. They going to start fighting over that food. They going to breed, they going to, we going to have hatred toward one another. Jeez. That's what happened to us, bro. They bought us over here on slave ships. Docked up. They bought us over here on slave ships. Packed up like a can of sardines. We was packed up like this, bro. Toe to toe, here to here. They, they using the bathroom, having babies right beside each other. They dying while they coming over here, bro. Right. That, that would do something to your mind. We still haven't gotten the proper healing for that. Right. They talk about post-traumatic slave syndrome. We all sick, bro. Right. We all need help, and they ain't gave us the medicine for that yet. Right. So, But it's going to take time. So it said, wherefore, laying aside all malice, right? Read. And all gal. And all gal. That's that trickery. That's that one deal deceitfully with your brother, trying to get one on over your brother. They sell the packs in the neighborhood. Trying to, you sell the packs to your brother, right? You trying to get a little dollar, but you killing that man. Bring it out, so the bring same it out. man that you gonna need to help you build this building, you killing him. Right. How you gonna do that, bro? We gotta learn to lay these things aside, right? right. Wait, it's and hypocrisy, and envy, and hypocrisy. Because in the church, it's a, it's a whole bunch of hypocrisy. You got a lot of black pastors in the church. They telling you one thing, but they not doing nothing. They telling you bring to do. Half the time, they ain't even telling you what you should be doing. Right. And they said, and what else? And envy and envy, bro, because we envy one another. We can't stand to see another man doing good in our neighborhood. Bring it up. And you get a little money 
a brother gonna hate on you for having a little money. You get to a nice whip, he gonna try to rob you for your whip. That's right. Where did we learn that from, bro? We learned that in slavery, so we need healing, bro. Right. This is the healing that we're giving you right now. Teach. This is the milk, bro. These are the basic things, right? So once you get your mind right, give me that uh, second is 14, 34. So first you gotta get your mind right, bro. Once you get your mind right, because a lot of times we wonder, why the women so out of order? You got women running households today. You got women don't know how to be quiet today. You got women telling their man what to do in the day's time. That's right. Why is that? Why is that? Read. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Now, therefore, set thy house in order All right. and reprove thy people. So it says set thy house in order first. First, you got to get yourself together, bro. You got to change your mind first, boy, bro. You got to conform to the ways of the Bible. Right. You gotta you gotta subdue these thoughts that we everything that we was taught in America was a lie. You gotta subdue that, bro. You gotta get your house in order, read. And reprove thy people. And then you gotta reprove your people. Right. So once you get your mind right, then you can teach your daughter right. how to be a righteous woman, how right. to be a godly woman. That's right. Because if you don't teach her, what she gonna grow up and do? She gonna grow up saying things she see Cardi B, uh Nicki Minaj, yeah, bring it up. Bring it everything she see, that's what she gonna start to do, bro. Bring it out. You gotta take that away from her, bro, because the the cares of this world, everything in this world gonna pass away. That's right, that's right. You gotta be teaching her something that's gonna cook like a proverb said, train up a child in the way he should go. Right. You want your child watching Cardi B? You want your child to be like Cardi B? You want your child to be like Nicki Minaj? Bring, Bring it up. You want your child to be like um Atlanta Housewives as you see on TV? Bring it Bring it up. Up. You don't want her to be like that, bro, so you gotta teach her. Because if you don't teach her, who gonna teach her? Bring it up. If you don't get your shit together, how you gonna tell your, your wife? How you gonna teach your wife what to teach her? Because if you're telling them what to do, but you walk around, you smoking every day, you ain't keeping the Sabbath day holy, you know what I'm saying? You shaving your beard, Bring it you up. got hatred in your heart, you beating them. How you gonna tell what to do? You ain't doing what the Bible says. Bring it up. You gotta change, bro. And the laws of God is what's gonna change. Right. That's right. Right. Now, therefore, set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. So when you get yourself in order, then you're gonna be able to reprove your people. Right. Then you're gonna be able to come to people within the scriptures. Right. You're gonna be able to come to you with problems. You're gonna be able to go through the Bible to show them how to I've deal with through, it. I've been through it before. But guess what? You're gonna have to go through it again. Right. You gotta go through it again. We got guess what? The Bible says you gotta die daily. Right. You gotta you gotta change daily. Right. So what are some things? Cause I don't want you to walk around, leave here in the same condition that you came. So we talk about Deuteronomy 28, 15, right? It say if we didn't keep the commandments, then certain things were gonna happen to us, right? So now we gotta talk about some commandments. Hello. Give me some commandments out of the Bible that you know. Give me a few of them. That's shall not kill. That's shall not kill. What else you got? That's shall not steal. Hold on. Now I want to hear you. What you got? That's that's not commit adultery. That's not commit adultery. Okay. That, that that that's a lot doing dealing with what we got going on right that's now. That's a lot. That's a lot. And um, I know, I know, I know myself. I know myself. When I was reading the Bible, I had to instead of reading it like a book, I had to understand, get an understanding of it, so I can so I can reprove it through. You know what I'm saying? My, my actions, right. okay, the way so I care of myself. I think it's something like, thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. So give me give me some commandments outside of the Ten Commandments. Uh, I don't know. I got one for you, give me that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse five. Right. They shall not make boldness upon their head. All right. Neither shall a man shall they say oh the corner of their beard. So it said the Israelites shall not make baldness upon their head, right. neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Right? So that's a commandment that's not in the Ten Commandments. These are the things that we have to come back to doing. You you shave your beard? Well, yeah, I trim. You trim it? Yeah. I mean, it's okay to trim it down, you know what I'm saying, and knock it down a little bit. So I, I don't got no fool like right. some of y'all got. I got I just got the the uh, gold teeth. Right, so you shave your beard, bro. It like, it look like, it like it's all right, you know what I'm saying? You, what you, you know, what you're not supposed to do, you're not supposed to chin strap it. Chin you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't supposed to ball it off. Ball However, it that thing grow, you, you can outline it and keep it groomed up, yeah, nah. but you're not supposed to cut it. That's right. a commandment in the Bible. That's, right. That's one of the commandments that we weren't keeping when we came out of, um, when we, when we came out of Exodus. Because he had to, he had to reiterate it again. Because everything that we was doing, everything that they was doing in Egypt, that's what we started to do. Bring it Just up. Like everything that they do in America, that's what we do. So if America say. Like, cause right now they they just legalized um um uh, marijuana and um same sex marriages. Is that according to the Bible? No. 
That's not according to the Bible. So the things that our people are partaking in, they, they come from America. Yeah. Right. God never told us to do that. God said hey, man. man is supposed to be a woman. Not man on man, woman on woman. Right. It's not supposed to be that way. Bring it up. So let's get some more commandments. So we got the beard. You're not supposed to barge your head and shave your beard. Let's get another commandment. Give me what you got. Exodus 28. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Right. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So within the Ten Commandments, that's in every Baptist church that I, because I only went to the Baptist church. Every Ten Commandments that's in the Baptist church, you, they got it posted on the wall. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But somehow they end up in church on the Sunday. Is this bad? What day is the Sabbath day? Bring it out. Saturday. It's Saturday, right? So even in the Ten Commandments, God said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Bring How do we keep the Sabbath day holy? This is, a, this is a commandment that we have to learn to keep, bro. For solar, because I talk about God all the time. How we do it? So how we keep the Sabbath day holy? Oh, oh, oh. We're going to show you. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Prayer, right? All that. We're going to show you how to keep it holy. No, Bree. I keep a constant prayer to God all the time. Six days shall thy labor He's not only and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. We had six days to do all our work. We had six days to cook. We had six days to buy and sell. Right. God said on the Sabbath day, there's to be no buying, no selling, right. no cooking, right. no working. Teach. That's how you keep the Sabbath day holy, bro. That's right. So in the Ten Commandments, you got to keep the Sabbath day holy. That's another law that we want to keep. That's a law that we don't keep today in America. Right. That's why he said remember it. Because we forgot it through slavery. That's right. We had them chains on our neck. They destroyed us. Right. The only reason we ain't got chains on our neck now is because we ain't destroyed. They had to keep them chains on us because if they didn't, we would rebel. Right. Now we ain't got chains on us no more because we ain't gonna rebel. Everything they tell us we're gonna fall, we're gonna right. go by. So one of the one of the rules on the Sabbath day is no working. So for granted, we in captivity, everything we want, we gotta go get it from other nations, right? Right, That's right. But now that we come into the understanding of the Bible, we gotta we, we're gonna have to start maneuvering through this, bro. You're going to have to start having faith and believing. You know what I'm saying? That God is with you. And you're going to have to start asking your boss, can you get off on that Sabbath day? Because some jobs do offer religious accommodation. So on the Sabbath day, there's no working, right? What else should we be doing on the Sabbath day? Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring work or any fields on the Sabbath day to sell, that we should will not bite of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. And then we will leave the seventh year in the exaction of every debt. So you see the woman walking across the street right here with all them bags. She said, "It's said, only God. So in the Bible, if that was to happen in the Bible, we would be put to death. Right. And it's going to come a time again where there's going to be no buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Right. You see what I'm saying? So one of the laws on the Sabbath day is there should be no buying, no selling. So all the shops should be closed down today. Right. The stores should be closed down today. That's right. We should be fellowshipping today. Right. And it's going to come a time. We're going to be doing that again, bro. Oh. But you got to be keeping the commandments. You got to yeah. be keeping the Sabbath day holy. You got to grow your beard out. You got to put fridges on your clothes. Right. Let's see what else we should be doing on the Sabbath day. Hold up, bro. I'm going to get your question. I gotta go get my Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Bring it out. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. Unto the Lord, bank that which ye will bank today, and see that ye will see, and that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept unto the morning. So Friday morning, you got from Friday morning to Friday evening to cook what you gonna cook. All your food is supposed to be cooked within that within that time period. All right, bro. Hey, you got a fly, bro? Take that fly out, bro. Come by the school. We can't get every Sabbath at three at three o'clock, bro. Show it to your wife, bro. Learn this, bro. It's important.
walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.